as an executive, you have to differentiate yourself. You have been put into the role for a reason and you've been asked to do things. And quite frankly, you've got the skill, the drive and the ego to get it done. Alas, sometimes in the effort to get things done, you wind up stepping out onto a limb by yourself. That leaves the opportunity for others to come behind you and saw that limb off. If you are out there on the limb by yourself, you will fail. You have to figure out how to get others out on the limb with you. This gets into the game of politics. And no, I'm not talking about dark politics. I'm not talking about backstabbing, withholding information, undermining, all of that nastiness. Under no circumstances will I ever advocate for playing dark politics. It's wrong and it shouldn't happen. However, politics is a part of corporate environments. And as an executive, you have to learn how to be politically savvy, period, end of story. Think about it like a chess game. I want to get here. So here are my advantages, here are my challenges, here are my options, and I need to move the pieces on the board in particular ways in order to achieve this, to get there. That's healthy politics. That's understanding what people want and why they want it. That's understanding how to maneuver successfully within that corporate environment. Not playing politics really is not an option. How you play politics is very much up to you, and I hope you do that in a very healthy and proactive way. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Feel free to leave us a comment or shoot us an email.